Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, I have ATZ's newest Japanese album. And if you remember not too long ago, I did a whole video on how I ordered these albums by using Bai as they now have a official partner store with ATZ. So if you want more information on how and where I ordered these albums from, I will link that video both above and in the description box below. But today we're going to do a fun little unboxing. I have three versions of the album here. There's a second one in this little bubble wrap, and it also came with posters. The reason I've already taken everything out of the box is because the box was massive, and I think that had something to do with the posters being in there. So. Um, that is why. Otherwise, everything is the same as it was packaged in that box. I just needed to take it out of there because I would not be able to fit it on camera. So firstly, let's just take a look at the posters here. I typically do not order posters, but there wasn't a way to not order them. And um, I didn't even know they were coming with posters, but let's just take a quick look. I'm not going to be able to fit it all on camera, but basically we have that one there. And then, oh my gosh. Oh, are they the same? They're the same. It's two of the exact same poster. But we have some text up at the top, a photo of them in the middle, and then um, some more info at the bottom about the actual album itself. So that's pretty cool. But now let's just get to the good part. So we have, I believe it was A, B, and C version. There was also a fan club version, but I was not able to purchase that as I am not a member of the fan club. So I'm just going to get all of the jewel cases out of the plastic and bubble wrap. And here we go. So I'm going to have to quickly do some research, or maybe it says on it which version is which. Just give me a second to figure it out. Okay, so I did some research. We have the regular edition, the A edition, and the B edition. So let's start with the regular edition. This seems to be more of a basic jewel case, whereas these ones seem to have a bit more of a slip cover over top. So we're gonna start with this one here. I'm just trying to see where I open this. My nails are making this a little difficult, so I'm gonna try and use these like sticker tweezers that I have. All right, so here we have the regular edition. It does have this little slip cover over the spine. I know they have a name and I can't remember what it is, but basically it just says Japan second mini album. There's the spine and then the back of it there. Super cool. And now we can look at the actual CD itself. So just going to open the jewel case and then here we have the CD plate really pretty. I don't know if all of these versions come with photo cards or not. I guess we'll find out momentarily. But actually first let's look at the back of this. So here we go. All of the track lists and everything. Pretty standard jewel case. So I think there is something in here. I'm just going to pull it out first. Okay, I think I've pulled it out. Oh, there's a little ad, but we're just going to move that off to the side. And now we can take a look at this photo book. Here we go, a little track list, and we start to get member photos. So we have Hong and Songwa, we have Yuno and Yosan, we have San and Ninki, and then Wuyong and Jongho. And for those who don't know, my bias is Yosan, so if there are photo cards, which there was one in this, um, I am hoping to pull his photo cards, but if not, not a big deal. I'm not like super into collecting Japanese um, photo cards for ATs, so whoever I get, I get. I'll try and trade if I have to, but I love everybody equally, so and there we go. So that was the regular edition. We had that little ad, just gonna move that off to the side, and then we have the photo card. So here is the back. It has everyone's names on the back, so there is no spoilers here, and we got, and we got Jomo, oh my gosh, so cute. I don't pull him very often, like, at all in any album, so this is cute. I like the bright yellow back, and the size of these photo cards is also nice, and also the quality, it feels a little thicker than usual. So yes, that was the regular edition. Keep it over there. And now we'll move into the A edition. Like I said, these feel a little more... Um, there's like a little more substance to them, if that makes sense. And it does have a little peel thing, so you can keep these plastic 
bags. Whereas the other one was hard for me to keep in good condition. <laughs> so anyways, here we have the front, the back. Oh, there's a DVD as well. And then the spine and it is a little slip cover. So this feels heavier, but probably because there are two discs in it, if there is a CD and a DVD. So let's open this up. Oh, there we go. And so here we have the CD, I believe, first, and then maybe it, yeah, there's like a little thing. And then there's the DVD. I really love this typography. I think it looks great. So there is that. We'll get this photo book out and we'll see if there's any inclusions in here. There was an inclusion and I took it out for now, but here we have the photo book. I believe, yep, these photos are definitely different. So we have Hong Jung and Song Ha. We have Yuno and Yasan. We have San and Minky. And then Wuyang and Jungwoo. And then the lyric booklet portion. So there's that. This one is bright yellow, which kind of matches the back of this photo card. And then we once again had like a little ad thing. And then we have the photo card, which this time has a red back, which is an interesting choice considering this one had yellow. I feel like that would have fit the theme, but hey, whatever, whatever works. So here's the back. Once again, no spoilers as everybody's name is on it. And the photo card we have is Yuno. Oh, this is such a cute card. I love the boxer um, aesthetic that's going on with these. So very cute. But yes, there is that photo card. Lastly, we have the B version and it kind of feels the same as the A version in terms of quality. So let's just get it out of this little bag it, baggie. Oh my gosh, everything's falling out. Okay, so here is the front, the back, which also has a DVD, the spine, which is more of a indigo purpley blue color. And here we go. So that was the little slip case. And now we can open up this jewel case. Ooh, so it's purpley blue once again inside. Here's the CD. I think the CD plates are the same, except this one has like some colored accents that match. Where's the other ones? Had colors that matched theirs. And then there's the DVD. Very nice. I love the quality of this. Um, and then once again, we'll find out if this has a photo card or not. Oh my gosh, it's like stuck in there. And okay, here we go. So we have the little lyric book. Once again, we probably have different photos. Do we? I think so. <laughs> yes, we do. So here we go. Again, love this aesthetic. And I also love the song. <laughs> I know it, um, it already existed in Korean, correct? Oh my gosh, am I going crazy? But anyways, love Rocky. So... There we go. And there is a little lyric book. So we once again got the little ad. And then we did get a photo card in this one as well. This one has that matching colored background. So here we go. Again, no spoilers. And we got... Oh, we got Jongo again. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. These are like really good quality photos too. I don't think they're selfies. I think they're like professional professionally taken photos if that makes sense but very cute so yeah there we have it hold on let me bring you know a little closer over here so there we have it that was my little AT's unboxing for their second Japanese mini album AT's Beyond Zero um, I absolutely love this album and I just want to quickly give a huge thank you to Bai who did sponsor this video. So again, if you would like to learn how to purchase these albums through the, the AT's official goods store via Bai, I have a whole video on that. I will, once again, it is linked up above and down below and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it was educational on how to get these albums for yourself. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.